Hello. Hi, it's Miriam here. I am uh, in a beautiful park. Uh, it's um, a reservation um, place uh, behind Canning Tower Station in Canning Town. Uh, I'm using to come to this place many times for many, many years. 20 years. <laughs> so it's a place that I really know with my heart. I have been uh, doing a lot of uh, spiritual work on this park. Uh, and I can see that some people have been very naughty, you know, dropping, leaving around here bottles. Uh, you know, I have been collecting some and throwing on their feet, but there is a lot you know, still on the on there because there is water all over. Can you see? Like, look, there is water here behind me. I don't know how I'm gonna. You see? And uh, there is water at the other side, it's a swamp, you know, and all of this around is swamp. I'm gonna stand to show you, okay? Look, yes, it's a swamp here, but it's a beautiful place, I love it, you know. It's a beautiful place and I really enjoy being here looking at the wildflowers and uh, yeah and the noise you heard before is the DLR train that is the truck is just uh, on top there uh, I don't know if you can see yeah just on top there but um, yes and uh, I decided to come here and do a video here look how beautiful it is it's wonderful is it it's a very relaxing place very relaxing place and I'm gonna sit here because before I talk to you because I want to have some chat here before I chat a little, I'm gonna send some healing here, okay? So if you wanna receive it, it's available for everyone, okay? I hope it works because I don't have my standards, I'm trying to do something and using my legs to hold the the phone the stick that is holding the phone for me. It's so nice the the sound of the wind on the leaves. Yes, it's so nice, so beautiful. Sorry, I have to be moving because my, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Yes, like this, I think. But I have to manage to hold. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna I have to do like this, okay? So you can see.
take the advantage of the noise of the, the train on the track so the sound can go further. teach you something for you okay I I did it today with one of my clients and uh, I was experimenting it on my daughter also is when you do it okay when you use the singing bowls to ground it you a little better oh can you see the train running behind yes <laughs> so yeah when you you do the sinking bowls for your grounded, your healing, or your be more aware of things, more present. Okay, I'm gonna teach you something. You do the sinking bowls and then you place by the sides of the ears. Okay, you have to do it, and then if you have someone to do it for you, it would be perfect as I, I do with my I did with my daughter and my clients today but as if you don't have so just the end of the, the vibration would be okay but it would be better if you have someone to do it for you okay but let's try I'm gonna teach you how to do it so you can try in your spare time okay runs from the thing. <laughs> You do it and then you place very close to your ears. You can place both of ears and here on the pineal, on the third eye and behind here or in on top of your 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 head for the pineal gland. So it's amazing and it works so nice. And when you listen to it and put in your ears, it calm you down beautifully. Okay, when I am in the open place like this, the sound goes too, you know, too quick to the, to the sky and to the air, but that's my, my intuition, intention here, is for the sounds to run all over and uh, give some healing to the plants. Okay, but when you are indoors, then the sound stays in and then lasts a little longer on your ears or in your forehead or here on the throat also when you have problems like uh, uh, in uh, to talk okay there is people that has a lot of troubles of talking expressing themselves so if you do it on the throat area oh works wonders okay works wonders because then allowed you to free your 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 speech your desire to speak out what whatever is uh, you know disturbing you and making you feel the way you are feeling 
so I'm gonna talk what I decided to talk today okay uh, there is so much to say but how are you feeling with yourself how are you how how is your or in what stage is your relationship with yourself okay what is driving you right now what is the purpose of your life what is making you smiling or be sad? How you are taking yourself to yourself? That's the question today for you. How are you feeling about this? Are you help, very happy with yourself? Or are you thinking, oh, I have been... Uh, not been very well with myself. I have been facing so many challenges lately and I'm not very happy. So what you're gonna do about it? That's the main question. Feeling good or not feeling good? Being happy or not being happy? It's not a question. Because if you're not feeling good or if you're not feeling happy with yourself, then anything is gonna, nothing is gonna be okay. Anything is gonna be a burden for you. How is your love going towards yourself? Are you waking up every morning and say, yes, I'm alive. Let's, let's see what I'm, life is, is burning to give me today. When you wake up in the morning, you say, oh, thanks God, I have another day to live. Or you think, oh gosh, I have to go to this again. <laughs> yeah. You know, that is something that is very interesting. Okay. There is a picture. It's a big 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 leg of a ham okay big leg of a ham or can be a big leg uh, or can be a very big uh, you know elephant and two little people like nuns okay two little people one look at the big big elephant and say Oh my God, it's too big. I can, I can, uh, I can uh, win against it. And the other one look at it and say, it's too so big to be missed. So depends, depends of your perception of life. Depends how you are feeling about things, how you are perceiving what is happening to you right now. Are you perceiving it as a burden? Or are you perceiving it as a challenge that is going to make you grow? That's make a huge difference. The way you perceive in the situation, the way you are taking it in full. Do you want to be a winner? Or do you want to be the one that you know is always on the back of someone else. It's okay if you want to be on the back of someone else and that person is allowed you to be. But you're going to be there forever and you're not going to grow. If you don't take responsibility of your own actions, when is going to happen to you? What is going to happen to you? Or when you're going to wake up and take, you know, your life on your hands and be the God you are and make it happen? Yesterday, 
night before I go to bed, I was listening to some um, some videos, okay, watching some videos. And one guy had a very, very nice experience, very beautiful experience. He was in the operation table and then um, he just died. And he was trying to, he, he felt, uh, he saw his body outside, uh, his person outside of his body. And he was trying to talk to the doctors and point to the doctors and say, look, I am, I'm not in there anymore. Come on, do something to make me come back. And then when he looked on the on the other side, he saw someone standing and then he looked, tell them, tell them. But when he looked at the person, he saw his eye. And when he looked at his eye, it was his eyes was like a fire, a bow of fire. And they said, uh oh. <laughs> There's something here. <laughs> and then that person come towards him and when he looked at his eyes, he saw his, when he was a small baby inside the womb. And then he, did, he perceived, he, did, he, he looked at the space and said, yeah, now I am in, in the presence of something different in another dimension. And then that's that being took him to other places and showed him a lot of things and uh, but one of the things that this being showed to him was he said look at your body and then he looked at his body and he saw a beautiful beautiful uh, uh, a gold gold light all over that body and then that person that being said to him that's the way I see you shining but he looked at him said, but I, I don't look at myself in that way. I, I think I'm so ugly. And then this being said, you are wonderful, beautiful. It's because you didn't discover it yet. That's what I'm saying to you right now. You are a beautiful being, but you haven't discovered it yet. Because you are looking at, at the vessel you are looking at the vessel outside but you are not looking what you are inside you and you are beautiful and you are creature of the universe you are as a seed from the stars you are wonderful beautiful let me show you something here that is gonna tell you what I mean okay look at that tree Look at that tree. Can you see? This tree is full of nods. Okay? Full of nods. Can you see it? Every branch has a big nods. Okay? Someone or the trees or this poor tree here. Not poor. She's beautiful and she's, you know, look. She's beautiful trunk and she's gonna be all right even with all these nods on her she probably look at herself and say I'm ugly what this come from what these nods come from can you see from even far away you can see all the nods do I see it as ugly no I don't I see it as a beautiful beautiful walk of nature probably she look at it and say oh i'm full of nods oh it's horrible but it's no it's beautiful the way it is that's our 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 challenge is to look at ourselves with all nods that you have got on our character on our personality in our body you know all the ugliness that you think you are and look at it and say it's it's the work of Mother Nature. I am a work of Mother Nature. I'm not ugly. I am wonderful, beautiful. And doesn't matter what your vessel outside looks like, what's important is what you are inside yourself. What's important is you are a creature of the universe. What is important is you are a being of light. And that's the only thing you have to remember and assume and embrace it 
and be it. Be the light for everyone else. Be the love for all, all, of everyone else. What, what can more I say to you? You know, embrace your four bodies. Look at the mirror and say, yes, that's the vessel I have got now and I'm going to take advantage of my vessel. I'm going to be happy. I'm going to jump. I'm going to dance. Oh, another experience. Do you know that the beings of light, the angels, you can call them whatever you want to call them, okay? They love when you sing and when you dance. Yes, that's why they make the trees bouncing all the time because this is beautiful. This is what makes positive energy. Okay, instead of cursing, bless. Instead of crying without any reason, pray. Don't need to pray to anyone, pray to yourself. <laughs> pray to the God inside you. Okay. Take advantage of beautiful prayers and say to nature whatever. What I'm doing here is a kind of prayer. Yes, because I'm talking to you, but I'm talking to myself also. I'm, channel I'm channeling from, the, from Mother Nature. I'm channeling from, from the spiritual world, from my guides, from my inner self, from my so inner soul, whatever you can call it. I'm challenging and I'm challenging for myself. I'm challenging myself every every single moment. In doing it, I'm challenging myself. I am putting myself in this spot to be criticized, to be, you know, bullying. But what? <laughs> I am so happy and life has been so good and beautiful even with this weather that's supposed to be summer <laughs> it's beautiful it's beautiful and i'm very happy and you should be happy happy like this and visiting places like this be with yourself don't be afraid of be alone be with yourself get to know yourself so when you wake up in the morning and instead of feeling horrible or, or sad or you know lazy you win the chance Okay. Ah. okay love I love you very much and I wish a fantastic day for you wake up in next morning feeling great and uh, I'm going to go to a, a church in Stratford I can't remember the name of the church but I think it's St. Luke's I'm going to when I got there I, I'm going to do a video inside there and I want to talk about something that is, I think uh, people should start to do it because then make you feel good also, okay? It's practical stuff. What every video of mine is tend to be very practical. It's things that you can do, things that you can, you can, you can embrace and put in your in your day-to-day -day life. Like walking on a park like this, why not? Evenings. Now take advantage of this <laughs> because it's getting late, uh, dark late. So go to a park, talk to the plants, embrace a tree, you know, be crazy. But be happy and alive. That's the most important thing. Okay? God bless you. Keep you safe and see you soon. Okay, bye-bye.